Hey everybody, in this video you're going to want a pizza pan that came from Dollar Tree and I'm using the splatter screen to trace out the buffalo check scrapbook paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. That splatter screen fits perfectly in the center of that pizza pan so that is another way that you could trace out any of your scrapbook paper if you don't have that sticker that came with the pizza pan originally. You then just want to cut that tracing right out and before I apply that scrapbook paper on the pizza pan, I'm just going along the edges of the pizza pan with this folk art white chalk paint and you want to just allow that to completely dry. Once dry, to adhere the scrapbook paper onto the pan, I'm using a generous amount of Mod Podge. Once that is spread out evenly, you want to just put that scrapbook paper right over and just smooth it out with your fingers until it is completely adhered. Once that was complete, to be able to seal and protect that scrapbook paper, you want to just go over it again with another layer of Mod Podge and go ahead and put that aside to let it dry. This wooden bunny cutout actually came from a sign that was from Dollar Tree. I just took it right off of that sign. And I'm just using some jute string to cover up the entire bunny. So this does take some time, so you want to just be patient. But all I'm doing is just wrapping that jute all around the bunny. And I am just putting some dabs of hot glue every now and then just to make sure that that string stays in place. And now I have to give the bunny a little cotton tail. So I just used a regular cotton ball, just hot glued it right on his little tushy. And then using this white and orange buffalo check ribbon, I just wanted to create a cute little bow for the bunny. So I just hot glued one strip around the neck and then made a bow using the loop, swoop, and pull method. And then you want to just hot glue that bow right on top of that first piece that you put down. And look at how cute he is. I then just wanted to cover up the cut edge of the scrapbook paper on the pizza pan. So I'm just using some nautical rope. You could find this at Dollar Tree or any craft store. So you just want to hot glue this all around the inner edge of the pizza pan until that is completely covered up. Now let's go ahead and assemble this all together. So I'm using this adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue to adhere the bunny right onto the pizza pan. And then I got this little carrot that came in a package from Dollar Tree. I just put that right by the bunny's hands to make it look like he's holding it. And then I got these Scrabble letters from Amazon. I just hot glued those down as well. I then just created a crisscross or messy bow. This consists of just choosing some ribbon of your choice, just crisscrossing it down, and then once you have that all filled up, you wanna just scrunch it up in the middle and then use another piece of ribbon or string to tie that right off. And then before applying it to the surface, you could trim it up as well. So now I'm just going to grab that pizza pan and I'm just going to hot glue this bow right at the top. And I felt like the left side was just a little bare. So I just hot glued these white flowers right behind the carrot. And there you go, guys. How cute did this come out? I really hope this inspires you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.